Toys here. Um, we have a special unboxing video we're super excited about. We have a very rare uh, Kenner Star Wars item that I have acquired uh, for the store and um, I'm going to open it up with you guys. Pretty excited. I've never actually had one in my hands or really even seen one before so this one's supposed to be 100% complete and uh, it's supposed to be spectacular and clean so pretty excited. Wanted to share the moment with you guys so Remember Jedi Temple Toys, we are on Facebook under Jedi Temple Toys. We also are on Mercari and eBay under the and same name. We buy and sell toys, so if you have anything 80s, 90s to sell to us, we'd definitely love to take a look at it to buy. And we also, um, if you're looking to buy anything, we have a lot of stuff and we'll cut you a real awesome deal. So here we go to the unboxing. So here it is. Okay. It's always a... Uh, so it's a little stressful to cut into these uh, vintage items with a, a razor knife. You don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to take my time here. But this is pretty a pretty thrilling moment here to have uh, this rare item. And um, you know I have a pretty complete collection. As you see behind me, that's kind of my my baby here, I'll move out of the way for a second, but that's all my stuff and I actually uh, don't have this item, but you know, I kind of just collect the original line, the original Kenner Star Wars line, and don't didn't really do the droids or Ewoks because I didn't have any of those as a kid. And um, you know, you got to kind of cut your limits somewhere, right, or else, you know. All right, there it is. You guys see it? Ooh, look at that! Look at that goodness. Okay, so let's start to dig this thing out here. All right, I'm gonna pull it out. Make sure I get everything. Okay, that's everything. So let's move this and let's start to uh, get some of this extra wrapping out of here. Okay, make sure there's nothing in there. Good job packing it. Okay, wow. Look at this there, guys. There it is. Ewok battle wagon. Let's take a look at this thing. I've never, I've had some Robin Hood wagons as we started the store. Um, we bought a bunch of Kenner Robin Hood stuff and had a couple wagons that we actually sold. Um, and I, you know, at first I was tempted. I was like, hey, you know, I'll just get one of these Kenner wagons and just kind of, uh, you know, consider it my Ewok battle wagon and keep one. And then I realized, you know, all the parts are cast a little bit different colors and. It's just different that different enough that you really can't, you know, mistake a, a Robin Hood version for a Kenner Ewok version. So first of all, let me see. There's the skull that goes on the top. All right, looking pretty nice. Very cool. I know this is a very iconic piece, um, which is pretty awesome. I know the GQ Jedi. I like to watch his videos. He kind of inspired me a little bit and. Uh, you know, I know he's been working on piece of one of these together and finally got the final pieces, I believe. So I know he always does a great job with his energy and enthusiasm. All right, we have the ramp here. So we have this ramp that operates on this string and there's a there's a piece that goes up in up in here that you can kind of like spin and take the ramp up. We also have another string here for the battering ram. All right. Look at this thing. The wheels are nice. Nothing. Broken. Oh man. All right. So let's start to piece this together. Now I don't know exactly where every piece goes. Um, like I said, I've never had one, so we shall see. I'm definitely not going to break anything. I'm not going to force anything in. So we'll take a look. I'm somewhat familiar with it, but I probably should have done a whole study before I opened this thing. But it came in the mail today, and I was super excited to share it with you guys. Okay. So here's that piece I was talking about right here that um, is going to spin, and I believe, let's 
see, where does that go? Hmm. I think it goes right here. And then the drum is going to go somewhere else, right? All right. Maybe not, because we have several holes here. Okay. Next piece. This is a battering ram. There we go. The battering ram. I think the only mark that the guy mentioned that in the battering ram, let's see if it'll zoom in there. You see that? Yep. There's a little nick right there, a little cut, and that's the only thing that prevents this thing from being absolutely perfect. Now, there's some holes in the side here, so I guess they will fit in. They will fit in the battering ram. Maybe I will wait, huh? That's why I'd be on TV bloopers if I broke this thing. Let's see, maybe that's more realistic. Let's see. Let's get this thing in here. I've never had one. I'm going to probably post this up for the store. There we go. There it is. It's in. All right. There's the battering ram. Super cool. All right. Get the string off of here. Let's see. This looks to be the prisoner cage. Is it? All right. Here's the prisoner cage. So it's not broken. It's complete. All right. We have the two side walls, which are pretty similar to the Robin Hood one. The Robin Hood one has a little couple hooks where you can put some shields on the side. But you got your prisoner walls here. All right. And they go like so. I'll put this on so you kind of get an idea. All right. All right. Let's see. Hmm. There you go. Prisoner wall one. Prisoner wall two. All right. We got your drum here. There's your drum, and that's gonna go, I believe, right there. Okay. I'm not gonna put them in all the way. How about I do that? I won't put them in all the way since. You know and I know. I don't really know exactly where they go. Now, I believe this one with the little hook goes with the prisoner cage, but again, I'm not positive. Okay. And this one would go somewhere up here. You know what? Just to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> Let's be honest. I don't know. And here's the ladder. Here's a ladder that goes on the side. I remember this. It's got a little couple spots back here that it goes right in. There you go. It fits into there real nicely to hang on there. That's pretty cool. And the head has some pegs here. Let's see. This is just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Look at that. Look at the Z-Walk battle wagon. So cool. So iconic. One of the last pieces of the Kenner line. This is an absolutely wonderful line I love. I've been collecting since I was a kid and got reignited to it in 2010. I just absolutely love it. So, here's our Ewok Battle Wagon. It's 100% complete. It is super nice. It is super perfect. There's no stress marks, nothing broken. There's the one little mark I showed you on the front of the catapult drum. And it's just a wonderful piece. So, Kind of hard to let it go whenever you see it and you think it's in my collection. It's kind of like a grail piece. Um, but anyways, so, hey guys, we're going to have it up. JediTempleToys at Hotmail.com. If you want to contact me if you're interested in it. Um, but I'm going to put it up for sale. Um, and it's just an awesome piece. And I want to get it in a collector's home that's going to take care of it and love it. Like I love my Kenner Star Wars behind me. All right, so remember Jedi Temple Toys at Hotmail.com. Um, we're on Facebook. Jedi Temple Toys is our Facebook page. Please, please like our page and subscribe to that. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube page. And we're also on Mercari and eBay. So reach out to us if you have toys to sell or you want to buy anything in particular. I have tons of unlisted stuff. This is my side job, so I'm constantly trying to list stuff. But we have a bunch of stuff unlisted if you're interested in turtles to... Motu to Star Wars to any kind of various lines from the 80s and 90s. That's kind of where we keep our focus is on 80s and 90s stuff. So I do have some modern Star Wars, some legacy and vintage collection, some rare loose figures if you're looking for those. So anyways, Jedi Temple Toys, may the toys be with you. Have a wonderful day, guys, and thanks, uh, thanks for the time.